here, back again. Uh, got a new setup going on here. I'm gonna show you guys a new unboxing from Gen Con, some of the stuff that I got there. This is a new setup, let me know what you think. Hello everybody, Wild Chevy here, again with an unboxing. Today I have for you guys from Corvus Belly, makers of Infinity the Game, the Gen Con pack. This is, this was on pre-order the last month. This is everything you got at Gen Con. I gave it to show you guys what's inside the box here. We have, the big box is Operation Ice Storm. We have the Bootleg Penthesilea and the Neo Terra Bolt Cosplay Edition. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, let's first take a look at the Neo Terra Bolt Cosplay Edition. This is modeled after the cosplayer Tabitha Lyons, who was at Gen Con. This can be used as a regular Neo Terra Bolt. Okay, up first, we have Tabitha Tab Lyons herself. This is a normal body, I believe, for the Neo Terras. As always, a very nice sculpt from the folks at Corvus Belly. We have here the drop bear. A little, not even sure what you'd call it, a robotic uh, bear head. This goes on one of the empty bases. We have her right arm, or left arm, sorry. Left arm, a little bit of flash, but this should clean up pretty easily. And here we have her head. A little bit of flashing right here down at the chin. Uh, be a little bit of a challenge to clean that up, but it shouldn't be a problem. And the flowing hair that everybody seems to enjoy. And lastly, we have her combi rifle. While at Gen Con, she did not have a combi rifle with her. Um, she wasn't allowed to take it through customs, but she did build one for the folks at Inner Very nice looking miniature. <clears throat> Very sweet uh, girl, Tabitha the Lions. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, up next we have the Pentacelea bootleg edition from uh, talking with Carlos Bustria. He got the idea for the Pentacelea bootleg uh, last year at Gen Con. They have an annual um, bikers rally down in um, the center circle of Indianapolis. So he wanted a miniature that kind of reflected that. And we have this one here. All right, let's take a look on the inside. And on the back, we could see one of the great painting paint jobs by Angel. All right, Carlos. as we open it up, we see we have one of the new 55 mil bases, some parts for the bike. It's a very good looking uh, motorcycle here. We've got some tailpipes for one on each side. The handlebars and one of her arms that hook up to the handlebars. Let's zoom in a little bit closer to take a look at the uh, Pentasleia herself. All right, up first we have the body of Penthesilea. Pretty clean looking sculpt. Not too much splash, just a little bit on the bottom and on her foot. Up next we have her leg. This is one of the 3D models, so they all go together pretty well. We have her arm here. Some flashing down at the, but it shouldn't be too hard to take care of. And lastly, we have the Amazon's head herself. It's a nice flowing uh, set of hair with some goggles on top. A little bit of flashing here on the side. Shouldn't be too much t 
to take care of for cleaning. All right, let's move on to the big box. All right, lastly in our unboxing, we have Operation Ice Storm. This is the special um, box from the pre-order because it's got the CSU sticker here on the, on the box. There was 300 copies of these at Gen Con, all but 30 sold out in the first day. The last 30 sold out on the Friday at Gen Con. So you can tell that a lot of people want to get their hands on this box. All right, let's open it up and see All what's right. inside. So, from as we open it up, we see that there is a box for Panoceana, a box for the Nomads, a set of dice, blue and red, matching the armies. We have the CSU miniature. This is the Scenery Terrain Pack. This will be available after uh, August, I believe. Uh, it'll be a regular item on their stores. And then we have the Mission Book. And the Mat, I believe. All right, so let's take a look at our miniatures first. All right, up first we have the CSU Special Operations uh, miniature. There is a token for her in-game if you do not get the pre-order. This is a bodyguard, as it were, uh, explained in the mission book. She's She looks like a, a normal secretary, but she... The briefcase, but the briefcase isn't anything but normal. It's a very nice looking miniature. The same um, great sculpting we see from Corvus Belly. A little bit of flashing here on her arm, but not much to worry about. And then we have her briefcase here, which opens up into a little SMG, it looks like. All right, folks, here are the Nomads. There are seven of these in the box. A quick note is that all these are new sculpts. You'll be able to get uh, all of but one um, coming down the line here. We have three Cor uh, Corregidor Abasiles. We've got the Grenzer Grints security team. This one of the Spectres. A mobile brigada and the Reverend Healer. The Reverend Healer here is limited edition only to this box. So once she's gone, this sculpt, uh, this sculpt will, will not be made anymore. I'm sure that coming down the line they might have another box or another sculpt. This one is unique to Operation Ice Storm. All of them come in a separate baggie, so please make sure when you're uh, handling them not to mix up each person. Alright, let's zoom in and see what each one of them is like. Alright, up first we have one of the Corregidor Aguaciles. She's one of the female grunts. Very clean sculpt, very nice looking uh, sculpt as well. She has a, looks like a backpack here. One of her arms, just that just she sticks out to show the way, and I believe a combi rifle. Up next, we have the uh, one of the other. This is a male sculpt of the of the Abbasides. 
pretty clean. Some flashing, but not too much. This should go together pretty easily. And here we have the third member of the group. A lot of flashing on the gun, but this should be this should clean up really well with a file. Up next we have the Reverend Healer. I do like these new sculpts from Corvus Belly. They do have that anime look, but they are digitally sculpted so they go together very nicely. And we have her gun and her other arm, very fiddly bits, so be careful when putting these together. Um, next, we have the big guy, the mobile brigada. This guy is huge. He's in power armor. He gets around on the battlefield. Here we have his head. Separate piece. Very big arm with a big gun. Here's his other arm with the, the servo muscles flexing for the for the Reverend Healer. We have a special sprue here. This has the fins that go in the back. Uh, I know a lot of people are don't like uh, fins that stick out on the miniatures. I mean, they do catch, but they do make that, give that extra bit of flair. And last, we have his uh, backpack power pack. Say that three times fast. Here we have the Spectre. He is a TO, I believe TO camouflage unit. Very slim, very sleek. This guy does look like he can slip in and out of danger easily. And lastly, we have the Grins. Uh, Grinzer. He is a sniper of the group. And one thing I do notice, instead of a rock, he looks like he's standing on a piece of uh, machinery, which is pretty different from what we've seen in the past. One of the running jokes with Corvus Belly miniatures is that all their snipers are on rocks. One of the things to show here with the digital sculpt, we have his cloak, and it just, just almost like a puzzle piece, just clips right into the back here. Very minimal, glue needed. We don't even have to worry about any gaps to fill here. All right, let's move on to the Pan Oceana. All right, folks, here we have the Pan Oceana for the Operation Ice Storm. Again, seven figures. We have the three fusiliers. These are the standard troops in the box. We have one of the NIS. This is the sniper here. We have the uh, Kali um, Commando. This is one of the jump troopers here. We have the Orc Troop. And this is the exclusive for Operation Ice Storm, the Military Orders, Father Knights. All right. All right, let's zoom in and take a closer look. All right, up first we have the Fusiliers. Very good looking poses on these guys. 
very clean looking on the sculpt. Just a few sprues, just a little bit of cleanup. Not too much on the body itself. Here we have the female of the group. It does look like she's missing the leg, but it is right here. Very nice pose. A little bit of a midriff showing under the armor. I know some people do have an issue with that. I have no problem at all. Here's the last of the fusiliers. So these are very good looking sculpts. Very clean, not too much flash. They should go together really, really well. A little bit of super glue, not a problem at all to get these on the table. Up next, we have the Miss Sniper. to be uh, standing on a set of books, actually, instead of a rock or a piece of machinery. Very cool looking rifle here. And one of the, this is a little bit, fiddly bit of a fin that sticks in the back of the head. Compared to the old sculpts, this NIST looks very good. And the old sculpts weren't bad as all, but this is a very new, I like the, the new version. Up next we have the Akali. This is uh, the jump trooper of the book. He's got the, his little fins to help guide him down. Here, I notice on the back we have three little divots. These fit perfectly with the backpack, so you don't have to worry about proper placement. Fits just like a puzzle piece. Next, we have the new Orc Troop Sculpt. I just looks ready to be in combat on the table. A lot of heavy armor. It looks like with the Pan Oceana guys, they look like they can take a beating. And lastly, we have the Father Knight. Of the military orders. See him, looks like he's standing on a piece of a, uh, might be Scarface. Looks like a, a tag, piece of a tag right here. Nice flowing cape or cloak. A little bit of flashing here and there. Shouldn't be too much to clean him up. And we have a, ni a nice sword with a little bit of engraving. These paint up nicely. You don't have to paint uh, Angel Standard to put these on the table, but they do take to paint greatly. All right, let's look and see what else is in the box. And lastly, everybody, we have all the paper that comes in the box. What I mean paper, as you, as you can see here, we have the mat. The mat is all laid out. You'll see more as we dig into it. You get this set of Operation Ice Storm instructions and rules. This is the intro book, basically, to get you into third edition. It does come with uh, missions that outline every, every part of the story. 
and gives you insight and everything into the, the world of infinity. And it has these little beyond sections that lets you build your forces beyond what's in the box. And also is in uh, Spanish as well. So it's great for everybody around the world. We have the token counter here. Let's have all your orders. Shows you the new, or yeah, the lieutenant is a new thing now in in third edition. Got the new displacement um, smoke screen marker. This is uh, this will be. It's a little bit different from previous editions. We have the C, uh, CSU marker for those who don't have who did not pre-order. And then the new S2, this is the silhouette. The silhouette's a big thing now in the new edition. Next we have the terrain pack. Pretty cool looking bits of scenery here. Fold up real nice. Cool thing about these as they fit the brown boxes perfectly to help give support to your scenery. So we have a few buildings here, a few pieces of scattered terrain, and just some more little chunks of terrain to go around the board. Lastly, we had the play mat. This is a very nice, large play mat. It's not a mat per se, but um, very good construction, nice and glossy, easy to play with, easy to show your friends how to get into this game. All right, guys, that's been Operation Ice Storm, the uh, Gen Con pack. Did you guys order one? Are you getting it in the mail? Are you, did you not get one yet? I believe you can still order them on uh, the Corpus Belly website. What did you think? Uh, put them down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Uh, do you want to see more of this? Do you want to see uh, the layout setup of each mission? Put them down in the comments below. Thank you for subscribing. Like if you like this. Share it with your friends. Cheers.